As we get ready to leave Australia, we thought we'd write a little love letter to what we think might be our most favorite place we've ever been. <laughs> Stay tuned for our love letter to Australia. Who are we? We are Chris and Steve Eat, Walk, Learn. We have been traveling the world for the last three years with nothing but our carry-on suitcases. And we are going to be getting ready to leave Australia very soon. We've been here for five months and having such a great time. And we just when we talk about it and we talk about, you know, what do we want to talk about Australia? It's just some things that made us smile and some things that made us happy. And so we wanted to, to do our little, you know, Dear Australia, we love you <laughs> letter. This is not a Dear John letter. This no. is a Dear... This is... And, and, and we were sitting here and we were talking and we're like, all right, we need to do our YouTube video about Australia. And we're like, six things to do Australia or all the things to do Australia. And we thought, you know what? There's so many videos out there that do that, but none of them really get at what is so great about Australia. And we, I, we've talked about this a couple times with other Australians and... I don't know about other Americans, but certainly for me, before I came to Australia, I thought Australia was three things. It was the Opera House, a big red rock out in the middle of the outback, and kangaroos and koalas. Like kangaroos. I, it, kangaroos and koalas. <laughs> I guess that's four things. But I never really... It, it, it is, Australia is so unexpected and so endearing, and there were so many things. And as I was talking to Steve, I'm like, I start crying thinking about <laughs> all the things I just love about Australia... And how I'm going to miss them all. I mean, we need to come back. Yeah. 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 So, um, I, dear, dear Australia. Yeah, dear Australia. <laughs> so, we love you. We think you're fabulous. And I think the first thing I love about Australia so much is Australians are really proud of the fact that their country is very big. They're like, it's such a big country. And they kind of make jokes about uh, <laughs> tourists coming in and saying, you know, they say, I've got a week and I want to do all these things. I'm going to go to Sydney and I'm going to go to the Great Barrier Reef and I'm going to go out to Uluru and then I'm going to go down to Melbourne and have coffee. And the Australians are like, mate, yeah, yeah. mate, mate, you only have a week. <laughs> and that'd be like saying in the States, I want to do Miami, New York, Chicago, Denver and L.A. all in one week. You know, and it, I, no one would ever recommend that because you'd be flying the whole time. So... Anyway, the, what I, but what I really love about Australia is this huge country, right? It's about this, about this, it's a little bit smaller than the U.S., but it's about the same size as the U.S. But the population is only, pretty much, only on the perimeter. And on that perimeter, most of it's on the East Coast. So it goes from Melbourne up to Brisbane is where the majority of the population is. And that geography is what, maybe the length of the west coast of california or west like the west coast california oregon washington something like that i mean we could look to see what the kilometers are or the miles are and so you've got this very thin narrow strip of population and the and the depth of that population is maybe 20 miles like you right. when you go 20 miles in from the ocean in australia almost anywhere you drive 20 miles do do west or north or whatever of the or, of the of the ocean and you're in the in the country you know, so even the thickness of that population, except around the so, city centers, is just not big. So I, what I hear what you're saying is that it's a very large country, but it's actually quite um, manageable as far as being able to see some of the major attractions and the yeah. major things that you want to do in Australia. But, but, yeah, it's, but the point I was trying to make is that everybody lives on the beach. <laughs> like it's a, it's a total, it's just a big beach. <laughs> I mean, certainly there's exceptions to that, but it's this big beach and there's this huge, there's this huge beach culture and everybody loves the beach. You know, they walk around barefoot every, they go barefoot to the grocery store and they, you know, they've got their swimming, their swimmers on, you know, and they've got all these really cute words for things and they're really into their life saving stations and the, and there's this whole culture around everybody's personal, their community life saving station and how everybody supports it. And you go to the life saving station to get a, to get dinner and you support the lifeguards at the life saving station. And okay. it's cool. All right. Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> love Australia and we love the beach and there are, the beaches here are incredible. They are the best beaches that I've seen anywhere. Everything from white, sandy, you know, miles long beaches to cliffs and crags and caves and, and, and stacks, uh, sea stacks. And yeah, I mean, every time you go to a beach here, you think it's the prettiest beach you've ever been to. Then you go to the next one, you go to the next one and say, ah, <laughs> uh, this is number one. Yeah. 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 So, 
And so then, of course, attached to the beach is the water and all the snorkeling and the surfing and all right, the things right. you can do in the water here. It's just nonstop. But, and, and it's funny because they've got sharks. They've got sharks in the rivers and in their <laughs> and in their harbor. And then they've got jellyfish everywhere. But it doesn't stop people from loving the water and the beach. It's just yeah. in their DNA. And we had some fabulous experiences mm-hmm. visiting the Great Barrier Reef, um, swimming with uh, with eagle, um, eagle, eagle rays, rays yeah. and black tip sharks, yeah. uh, so and sea turtles. Uh, and... and just yesterday, we saw a school of dolphin that yeah. were just we were on a little ferry, and the dolphins were just following us along. They were just it was it was fabulous. So, and then you know, and then the birds. The, I mean, the birds are crazy. Let's talk here. about the birds. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> every single bird you see here, you just it's it's a the equivalent. It becomes a caged bird in the U.S. as people spend. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars more. It's terrible. The smuggling. We're not. We're not condoning smuggling by any means. But yeah. just the birds everywhere. You've got black swans and lorikeets and malays and kookaburras and all of these just incredibly beautiful, large, unique beautiful. birds. Yeah, even uh, they call them the butcher birds, which are black and white birds. They, they look like um. They're, um, the, um uh, you salute the ma- magpie. <laughs> <laughs> It, but um, but they have these crazy sounds, you know. They make these wild sounds, and it's just you hear when you're walking down the street, and you're like, "That's a cool bird." Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and then you know, I mean, of course, there's the kangaroos and the wallabies and the panda mel- We learned like the different sizes of the kangaroo. There's kangaroo and then wallaby, and then uh, the panda melon, panda melon the and then the kangaroo rats and all these different marsupials. We learned all about yeah, marsupials, yeah. and they have three vaginas and all these crazy things. <laughs> And, 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 we didn't and, verify this, by the way. <laughs> and the echidnas, you know, the, the Australian echidnas. version of a hedgehog. And, and it's but to just, be able to see the amazing amount of nature in the wild is really a fantastic. And, and just, just again, love uh, love Australia. And then, for, and then the, the tree. Nature. I mean, I, I, before I came here, I thought the only tree in Australia was a was a eucalyptus tree. Well, I didn't know what to expect. In fact, but, but there are eucalyptus trees everywhere and there's many many different varieties of them yeah so you say so that's a different eucalyptus. i didn't see that one before uh, and then there's uh, then, then there's you know the uh, cedars and and all different types of fir beautiful, trees beautiful and trees. and there's uh jungle here and tropical forest and then dry deserty places and then eucalyptus groves i mean you can walk along the coast of, of sydney along the different coastal the, the walks harbor. and go through like I don't know, 15 different ecosystems in a 20K walk. It's just, it's it's amazing. And I mean, I think the most surprising thing to me was the, the jungly tropical forest stuff. I didn't yeah. expect that at oh, all. Yeah. yeah. And the food. Um, what about the food? So let's talk about the food. So it's what's funny is you hear you probably have heard about Vegemite. Mm-hmm. Vegemite is real and it's everywhere. It's <laughs> funny how every house you go into it, there may be like this much left in a jar, but well, I mean, a jar lasts like three years. <laughs> it's a jar. <laughs> it's open to like a might. teaspoon at a time, and it's actually it's pretty good. You have to learn. See, this is again a learning experience and how to serve it and how to spread it onto your toast with butter and yeah, and, uh, and, and how it, thick you put it on. Great. Yeah, and how you order it. Yeah. When you order it, you tell them how thick you want your Vegemite. Um, but then just like um, you know, all the pies, and so a pie is pies not like an apple thing. pie. It's like a a meat pie. Yeah, like, a, a, different like a chicken pot pie. Like a chicken pot pie, right. except with different fillings in it and much better crust and stuff. And you get them everywhere. You can get them at the market. You can get them at yeah, the gas station. Yeah, my favorite is yeah, the train station has the best pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all, you know, the, uh, I think Australians would fight you to their death on who has the best pie in town. And then the Lamington bars, those coconut, yummy coconut yeah, chew. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, Tim mm. Tams. Tim Tams. Oh. Man, you know, <laughs> I mean, I put on five pounds just eating Tim Tams. <laughs> Right. When it, when the first time I had a tea time, I'm like, oh, oh, thanks, Bonnie, for that. <laughs> oh, it's like too sweet. And then they just they like grow on you. They're very addictive. You. Yeah. And yeah. then, of course, um, uh, the way Australians eat their hamburgers. Now, we never, I didn't have a hamburger, but they had, they put beets on their burgers. They call them Aussie burgers. So you have a, you have a, a patty slice, of some kind. Slice, and then a slice of that red of a beet. beet on top. And, and maybe even a fried egg on top. So yeah. that yeah. was, I, now I eat I beets on top of my veggie burgers. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. We, eat, we eat really well here. Yeah. And then um, I think the the last thing we want to talk about, which is so endearing. Well, I, I, I don't know how these two, they, these two don't necessarily I know what together. she's going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about it because right. it lets you do the trucks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they love their trucks here. And I'm a truck person. I, I, uh, truck. 
You <laughs> are? <laughs> is this your trucker hat? <laughs> this is from my Rick trucker Carl? hat. Boo, boo, ton four, good buddy. They, no, they're, they're pickup trucks, but the pickup but they're trucks. Called, yeah, they're called utes. Well, they're, but they're working. That's different. But the, they are working trucks. Yeah. And, you know, the tradies use them. So, Wait, with the tradies. So, the, the tra- any, any tradesmen. Yeah, they is, call them tradies. Is, and they're, and they're very respected and, and, you know, pro union yeah, and, and pro worker and, and pro construction. The labor, the labor guys here are, mm-hmm. are, are great. And everybody's great. Everybody's warm. And everybody is uh, very genuine and just loves to, to, to greet you. You know, good day. The first time I heard, good day, mate. <laughs> I was like, yeah. But the, but but the utes. The yeah, and they're oh. called utes. Go ahead. No, utes are different. Utes are the cars that are like Caminoed. Well, I think also like the, the, the Toyota Hilux. So the Toyota Hilux is like a, a what's, the, what's the equivalent of the U.S.? Um, a Tacoma, like a Tacoma, Toyota Tacoma. They call them the Hilux. I think those are Utes too. Uh, well, we'll have to look. Yeah, we'll have to yeah, our look. viewers will yeah, tell us all, tell us, tell all us about Utes. Utes. But they have snorkels on them. The snorkels, because you could be driving through rivers and creeks and, and across dust clouds and things that you don't want your your carburetor to right, get. Right, because because all of that is only ten k, <laughs> you know, ten miles maybe from the the ocean. So it's like you're in the country and you're out in dirt roads and 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 gravel roads in your Ute with your snorkel. With your snorkel. Wearing your mullet. <laughs> yeah. Eating some Vegemite. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Listening to ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know ACDC's from, from uh, Melbourne, actually? <laughs> anyway, w- this is an absolute love letter yeah. to Australia. We, I mean, we're, we're laughing, but we're not joking. We, we and by the way, just, I just have to add a couple it. things. I'm wearing my Rip Curl yeah. uh, hat. Headquarters. Rip Curl is headquartered uh, right yeah. here in Southern part of Australia. As and also, I have... I have my uh, shirt on that was designed by one of the uh, uh, indigenous uh, peoples here. Their art is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And so... And some uh, of those dot are, paintings that we saw in the museums of incredible. the indigenous tribes. And the, 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 in the 70s, there was this whole awakening of Australian art that came through the indigenous uh, route into the museums. And some of this artwork is my most favorite in the world, this beautiful. artwork. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So, and I'm going to miss you, Australia. <laughs> okay, we're just going to have to come back. <laughs> anyway, um, anything else you want to say about Australia? Yeah, um, this, these are just things, again, that, that just made us smile and made us uh, love this country so much. And, uh, and a big thank you to the people here who made us feel so, uh, so welcome for the last five months that we've been mm-hmm. in your country. And believe it or not, Australia is not just an opera house and just a big red it's rock. It's not just a kangaroo. And, and just a kangaroo. It's a, if, if, you're, if, if you think you can't afford to come here, we're going to tell you next week in our budget video right. how you can afford to come here. Absolutely put it on your list. Come back. If you've been here, what were your favorite things to do? If you have questions about all the things we did, post them below. But our love letter, big heart out to Australia. <laughs> we, will, uh, we will see you soon. Ciao. Good day, mate. Good day.